Hey, yo. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'm starting a brand new series where all I do is talk about video games and essentially all the great things about them. Uh, this isn't so much about a game review or I'm not even looking to see if a game's bad or good. This is more so about what is something that a video game does well. And in particular, I want to dive into one today called UFC 4. So let's dive in. EA Sports to the game. The main thing I'm going to be looking into is the fighter evolution aspect of the career mode within UFC 4. When I say fighter evolution, really, that's just a fancy word for skill tree. But I'll talk to the particulars of it and we'll dive in a little bit. First thing we're going to dive into is the fighter evolution points. The fighter evolution points are essentially your experience points that you earn from just completing tasks. This can be done in several different ways. You can go into a an official match, win the match, and you'll get some fighter evolution points just for winning the match and completing other tasks within it. There's also other ways of getting points, which is from the sparring sessions. The sparring sessions is a fantastic way to get evolution points. Essentially, before you even begin to do the main training that you want to do, they give you some time to go ahead and knock out a challenge, which might be something like, hey, land four body blows. Um, land five blows from the ground. You want to focus on that first and get those evolution points. These points can later be used for the skill tree, but only a portion of the skill tree. And that's the part I'm going to dive into a little bit because that's, uh, that's the part that's interesting. So the perk system, the perk system in this game, I believe does its job and does its job well. So you're only given so many slots, five in total. You start off with three and you earn more slots as you go up to a total of five. This is done in a way that's kind of cool because it forces you to progress through the game and you're going to unlock those slots naturally. Once you join the UFC, you'll unlock a slot. Once you become a champion, you'll unlock another slot. I believe you unlock another one for something else, but I just can't remember what that is. So unlocking that slots does one thing for you. It makes you have to progress through the game. So as, as you progress through your, the game, and I'm talking about career mode in particular, as you progress through that, you'll be given these open slots. Now, these slots can be filled with perks that are purchased with those fighter evolution points. So those fighter evolution points, it's going to get interesting with that because you're going to have to decide how you're going to spend those. You don't get an absurd amount up front. You'll get more as you go through your career, but... You don't get all of them up front, so you kind of have to decide how to split between what you want to do with those points, and I'll talk more on that later. But speaking to the perks that actually exist, it's kind of cool because this is what gives you a slight edge. Um, if me and you both walk in and we're a copycat of the same person, if I change my perk list, that is a difference between me and you. It can give me something such as more stamina on the ground, more stamina on my feet, better blocking uh, faster punches, more accurate hooks. It can do all different types of things. And I think that's in particular what can cater to what your particular fighting style is. So the perk system is cool. It's very basic. You earn experience points. You apply those to the perks that you want, put them on, and you slightly change your character. Good start. Next up, we move into attributes. Now, attributes is very similar to perks in the sense that you earn these evolution points by just completing tasks, apply the points, you get what you need. So attributes is essentially the base of your character. That's that's the that's the ground foundation of your character. If you want to be able to take some punches, you're going to need to apply some points into your attributes. If you want to actually be decent at top game or ground game, you're going to need to apply points to that. And I don't mean as far as like technique but just in the sense that the survivability of your character is all based around that attribute. And those attribute points come easy. It's the same as fighter evolution points. You'll earn those no problem. But you do need to take the time to apply those. I mean, because you can be, you can have a level five jab, but if your accuracy is a two, I mean, if you hit somebody, you might do some damage. But until then, you're going to be flailing around, missing a lot more punches than you should. So this part of the system is important. And they give you what you need up front. Even if you're bad at the game, even if you're the worst at the game, 
you'll still get enough points to be able to rack up and at least be a solid foundation style fighter at all times. The game basically gives that away to you. And I think this is cool because it keeps you able to survive and may even give you some luck. If you know that you're really bad at standing, maybe, maybe pump up your punching power and your speed so that way it can cover some of the ground for you. For every punch that you make, it counts because you know you're bad at it. It's one thing to have technique. It's another thing to have to actually worry about your base stats as well. So I can build a glass cannon if I want to. I can build a power. I can build a character with the most amount of power, speed, and no chin or body or recovery. <laughs> you can do that in this game, which is, which is interesting because uh, you can literally be damn near a John Jones of this world and not have any of the defensive capabilities to be able to survive. The game will give that to you. So just in the unique way that you can actually play with your own stats to where you can do it to your detriment or you can do it to to your to advancement, you know? So I think that this part of the the skill tree it's basic but it's very useful, very purposeful. The game will help slowly progress you along. In the beginning, you're not fighting guys that are so strong that should be able to knock you on one punch, at least, hopefully. Um, and if you do, you know, hey, I got a bad chin. I should probably be working on my blocking and trying my best to stay out of the range of shots that will go to my head. Maybe go to the ground. That's what I like about this part of it. You can really craft the base of your character. So I'm sitting down here, and I, and I just want to say, UFC, I appreciate the way that that the training camp system in this was all all put together like this was an excellent way to give me a representation of what it feels like to go through a training camp work out a move and that's the move you're going to try to use for this fight you need to get good at it not just in stat wise but you also need to get good with it technique wise as a player if there was no upgrade system attached to it you would still have to try to get good with that move as a player to understand how it works Yo, thanks to everybody for listening to me rant about all the good things that comes along with UFC's uh, progression system. I hope to do more of these in the future on different games and uh, keep it pushing. So thank you guys for listening. Catch you later.